Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I am very excited to share with you the June Literary Book Club box that was sent to me for review. I think this is actually one of their older boxes where it was still double-sided printing because it still has that beautiful Jane Austen quote on the interior which we absolutely love. I love using these boxes uh, to store the lovely items that come in my book subscription boxes. It's always kind of nice to have them stacked on a shelf because they look like books which is always really fun as well so for June we had a fantastic swashbuckling tale it was of course Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson and look how stunning this Chiltern edition is I have quite a few Chiltern editions now as a result of this fantastic classics subscription love those gilt edge pages as well as the nice thick glossy pages that are inside the ribbon bookmark is always nice as well it also opens opens really flat so it's really easy to read it if you like to have your book on a table instead of holding it in your hand. I just think they look so so stunning. So if you are not familiar with this fantastic quarterly book subscription it is just $74.99 per quarter plus I believe still $11.95 in shipping. Now she also does some fantastic limited edition boxes in the in-between months because a lot of the times uh, there is a wait list for this quarterly subscription. Don't fret if you find yourself on that wait list often some more boxes might become available but they get snapped up really quickly or you'll be on the list for the next selection I do have an affiliate link for you as well as a code that will save you five dollars when you do sign up for the subscription it's not gonna work on those limited edition boxes but it is just Maui Noel and that will save you five dollars as always I'll leave all of that for you in the description box below but let's talk a little bit more about this particular box and some of the uh, kind of features of this great subscription. I think it is so nice to have an opportunity to get beautiful editions of classic books, ones that you've definitely heard of that you might even reference on a daily basis sometimes, but you've never really gotten around to reading. Now in this case, I would say that it's a pretty easy read, um, but I will also say that sometimes if you feel a little bit worried about the classics, because sometimes the language is a little bit it uh, thick for example you can always download like the audiobook as well and sometimes that's a nice compliment for this one again really easy read but I will say if you like audiobooks if you can get the Timothy West version it is fantastic so just a little hint if you're an audiobook person you can definitely still enjoy this subscription it is one of those great subscriptions where there are gifts to read along the way to inspire you but also to help you kind of feel like you're really immersed in in the uh, book itself so one of the features that we always get in this great box is some swag and so because because it was Treasure Island she did some very tropical beachy themes which was appropriate of course right for our June selection so I love that parrot sticker so we're gonna see what we've got in here we usually get a book plate as well as a bookmark so this time we have a quote it says I'm a plain man rum and bacon and eggs is what I want so love that love those hibiscus down there and then we have the matching book plate so that you can truly add it to your library um, make sure that uh, if anyone borrows it it comes back to you and then we got this beautiful rainbow moth sticker as well I always love the artwork Katie herself does a lot of it uh, but she also just curates a really nice collection of items for us so that was our swag bag with our sticker bookmark and book plate this time around also at the bottom of the box there is always sort of a cheat sheet that tells you all of the items so I usually go ahead and find that because sometimes there are page numbers uh, that go on the gifts and I like to kind of make sure that I have everything and I'm not missing anything you can see those page numbers on there and I'll go ahead and mark the pages in the book so that I don't miss the opportunity to go to my box and find my gift at the bottom of the box along with that sort of cheat sheet that sort of summary of all the items in there is a beautiful art print and I know a lot of people like to have this displayed in their home they have sort of a rotating art print in a beautiful frame or just in a little clip and this one has another quote from the book and I love that she did different quotes not just all the same ones this one is one that I think my father would definitely appreciate says it's the glory of the sea that has turned my head and you have to kind of imagine it in a pirate voice right it's the glory of the sea that has turned my head 
<laughs> so I absolutely love that. I think you can kind of see the faint, almost like coral design there. So that is beautiful. And I will probably be handing that to my dad uh, as a belated Father's Day gift or early birthday present, along with this gorgeous edition, because I know he absolutely uh, loves this book as well as um, Robinson Crusoe, of course. That was another uh, favorite of his, uh, I think, when, when he was a kid. So I think he will enjoy this. And maybe I will even bring the audiobook version when we do go on that family road trip. I think that would be really fun. Now, one of the other nice things that Katie includes is this beautiful wax seal uh, envelope, a little card that introduces us to the box, to the book. So let's open that up. So beautiful Treasure Island. I love all the green, the lushness of all the details. There's that little moth right there. Again, it says Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson was first a map that Stevenson drew for the amusement of his stepson. The map proved so interesting that he created a story to go along with it, reading installments of the story to his family as he finished them. The story follows Jim Hawkins, who sets sail searching for buried treasure and adventure. He quickly finds himself caught up in a deadly mutiny where he must outwit the cunning pirate, Long John Silver in order to stay alive. Absolutely love that. And then here we have the parrot on the back. And just, I mean, Katie just has gorgeous, she's a really, really talented artist as well as the curator of this box. So let me put that off to the side. One of the cool things about this box is it's not just the ones that have page numbers, not just gifts that have page numbers. In this case, there were three gifts that had page numbers associated with them, but she also includes some things for you uh, while you read. Nice. Of course, we've got Mahalo, which I don't think it was a Hawaiian island that they were at, um, but I like I like the nod to Hawaii, of course, as someone who is uh, grew up in Hawaii. And then there's also a really fun gift for it once you've completed the book. So a little bit of a incentive to get to the end. But really, you guys, this was a great book. I had never actually read it, I don't think, from cover to cover. And I loved it. It very much um, kind of reminded me of Pirates of the Caribbean, like the ride, not the movies, because there were actually characters saying things like, yo ho and like, <laughs> <laughs> me hearties <laughs> and it was like it was very I was like oh this is where all that pirate talk came from it's from this book all right so let's go ahead and open our while you read gift so we get did get a total in addition to the swag bag in addition to the print we got a total of five gifts one for while we read one for after we have completed the book and of course three four through uh, the course of the story so we got this fun leisureman's Mai Tai mix so of course you have to have a Mai Tai which of course came with a little umbrella for your drink which I think is absolutely adorable what a cute extra touch she often includes something to drink or snack on for that while you read gift and while you're at it you guys let's have a secret password it's got to be rum because that's what's going to go in your Mai Tai and you know yo ho ho and a bottle of rum so once you come across a secret password in one of my videos you want to enter it along with your contact information in the google form that is linked for you in the description box below and in the pinned first comment please don't put the secret password into the comments I will have to delete that comment at the end of the month, about five days into the following month, actually. I will use a random number picker to select a few winners to receive a mystery box as a way of saying thank you for watching my videos in their entirety, listening for all of those secret passwords. You have to be 18 years or older, you have to have a US or Canadian mailing address, and you do have to be subscribed to my channel. All of the details are in that form, so if you have any questions, just let me know. But our secret password for today, in honor of the pirates, is rum. All right, let's move on. So. Our first gift that had, uh, was associated with a page number was page 75, and it just came in this red bag. I think she had a lot of fun putting together the packaging, because the packaging really uh, is part of the experience of this box as well. So let me go ahead and turn to page 75. I did put some little um, book uh, flags in there for me so that I could find them find the pages more easily. So let's see. Uh, I have to try to remember what this gift was, even though I've got the cheat sheet. Oh, so this is again in the voice of Jim Hawkins, who is on, on the boat. Now, just after sundown, when all my work was over and I was on my way to my berth, it occurred to me that I should like an apple. I ran on deck. The watch was all forward, looking out for the island. The man at the helm was watching the luff of the sail and whistling away gently to himself, and that was the only sound excepting the swish of the sea against the bows and the sides of the ship. 
In I got bodily into the apple barrel and found there was scarce an apple left. But sitting down there in the dark, what with the sound of the waters and the rocking movement of the ship, I had either fallen asleep or was on the point of doing so when a heavy man sat down with rather a clash close by. The barrel shook as he leaned his shoulders against it, and I was just about to jump up when the man began to speak. It was Silver's voice, and before I had heard a dozen words, I would not have shown myself for all the world, but lay there, trembling and listening in the extreme of fear and curiosity, for from these dozen words I understood that the lives of all the honest men aboard depended upon me alone." So I love the, this idea of him creating this story for his, uh, was it grandson? I forget. So let's see, what did they say? But I love the idea of creating the story after the map and having this young boy really be our protagonist. So let's see what we got in here. Ooh, almost dropped it on the ground. <laughs> So we got, let's see, some of these I've opened. Oh, this is from Tamalitots, Tamalitots, I have no idea how you say it, by Sugar Rocks. Gorgeous green apple candies, naturally flavored green apple candy filled with chili, lime, and a touch of sea salt. How amazing. That sounds delicious. It sounds like a really good cocktail, doesn't it? So that's a great gift. I think that is really fun. Maybe I'll have to like give this whole thing to my dad. I think he would have a lot of fun with it. Although maybe I'll keep the Mai Tai for myself. All right. The next one was on page 186. So let me see if I can find that. And the whole thing, you guys, like I said, it was a very quick read. I think the whole thing was 238 pages and they're pretty short pages in all honesty. So one, uh, let's see, 186. All right, let's see if I can remember what this one is. So this is our cute little Mahalo bag for this one. So Jim, they're on the island now. Let's see. It says, Suddenly, a kind of brightness fell about me. I looked up. A pale glimmer of moonbeams had alighted on the summit of the spyglass, and soon after, I saw something broad and silvery moving low down behind the trees, and knew the moon had risen. With this to help me, I passed rapidly over what remained to me of my journey, and sometimes walking, sometimes running, impatiently drew near to the stockade. Yet, as I began to thread the grove that lies before it, I was not so thoughtless but that I slacked my pace and went a trifle warily. It would have have been a poor end of my adventures to get shot down by my own party in mistake. So he's gone off on his own and so his party, the, the good people who aren't trying to mutiny and keep all the treasure for himself themselves, um, he's kind of had his own adventure and now he's trying to reunite with them. The moon was climbing higher and higher. Its light began to fall here and there in masses through the more open districts of the wood and right in front of me a glow of a different color appeared among the trees. It was red and hot and now and again it was a little darkened as it were the embers of a bonfire smoldering so he has come across someone but we are not quite sure who it is yet but we get to open up a gift which is fun so ooh, this is really wedged in there so we got some blue moon soap uh because feeling smitten blue moon soap and says that it's got some amber in it this is so cool so here it is so it is a blue moon soap with amber inside i haven't actually opened this but i'm gonna go ahead and take a look oh wow so look how beautiful this soap is and that is uh some amber on the interior so it says the blue moon is a feminine symbol that universally represents the rhythm of time and the cycle of life each one of its phases symbolize immortality eternity and enlightenment let the winds of change lift your sails amber gems are formed by fossilized tree resin and balance bath and body and balance bath body and mind ah okay so i love that a little like a not mysticism but you know a little uh you can kind of tell right there's a, there's a little uh um witchiness to this 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 soap but i also just think amber is really really gorgeous so it's amber and white ginger with an amber gemstone um so it is the blue moon soap that is inspired by that passage about the moon rising and giving light to jim's passage so that's kind of cool all right, the final one that is associated with a page is 193, so we're almost at the end. Let's see if I can remember what this is all about. So this one, I didn't necessarily think that the gift was like super linked to the passage, so I'll just read a passage. Now this is in the voice of Long John Silver, who is, uh, you know, he was the cook, but really he was kind of behind all of this. 
So it says, Silver took a whiff or two of his pipe with great composure and then ran on again. Now you see, Jim, so be as you are here, says he. I'll give you a piece of my mind. I've always liked you, I have, for a lad of spirit and the picter of my own self when I was young and handsome. I always wanted you to jine and take your share and die a gentleman, and now my cock you've got to. Captain Smollett's a fine seaman, as I'll own up to any day, but stiff on discipline. Duty is duty, says he, and right he is. Just you keep clear the captain. The doctor himself is gone dead again, you ungrateful scamp, was what he said, and the short and long of the whole story is about here. You can't go back to your own lot, for they won't have you, and without you start a third ship's company all by yourself, which might be lonely, you'll have to jine with Captain Silver. So, <laughs> forgive my uh, pirate voice, but... Um, you you, you kind of like Long John Silver, like, you know, he's kind of the villain, he's the bad guy, but you have moments when you kind of admire the guy for just being the old salt that he is. And here we have, of course, our amazing Treasure Island map. So it's almost like this was like a stamp, isn't that cool? So I love that what she does with the packaging for this book. All the reds and the yellows and the greens, it's really, really fun. So we got kidnapped Robert Louis Stevenson mint editions wait did we get another edition we got another edition how cool so I can keep one for myself and maybe um give this one to my father and keep the children edition or should I give my dad the really pretty children edition so we got a second edition oh this is kidnapped and this is treasure island oh my goodness Robert Lewis Stevenson kidnapped. So we got to read this one now too. I lost track of what I was reading. So we got this one. So it says, betrayed by his uncle and sold into slavery, the young David Balfour must do whatever it takes to get home to Scotland. But first he must survive. An enduring and mesmerizing work of literary imagination, Kidnapped is a classic tale of adventure and adversity that has captured audiences of all ages for over a century. So I think this is the one that maybe I had an abridged version of when I was a kid. So I am very curious to actually read the full uh, version of it. Uh, that's really cool. I didn't realize that, I think in my brain, I like conflated the two maybe. So this is really cool though. So I'm going to have to double check and see if there, I wonder if there is a children edition of Kidnapped. So, but this is a really neat one. This is from Mint Editions. Look how like modern and cool it is. And I like that they still had like a little blurb on the back. Now, finally, everyone, once you have read the book, you've read all the swashbuckling. Again, we got our Mai Tai cocktail mix, our gorgeous green apple uh, candy, our blue moon soap with amber inside. Don't forget all the swag and the print. We wind up with this. Now, this was actually on the top of the box, but I did go ahead and move it because it was taking up some space. I love all the stickers. I always wish that she gave us a sticker sheet with all the stickers. So you can say, it's a, see, it says, open when the last page has been read in case Katie's beautiful script. This is a really cool gift, you guys. So this is the Sunshine and Books Beach Bag. Now we get a lot of bags, we get a lot of totes in different boxes, especially book boxes, but look how nice this one is. So I love these crimson details on the zipper. You can see it's got really big straps. It's got a nice foot to it, so you can really use it as a book bag or a beach bag. So Du double duty, right? We've got butterflies or, or those moths, I guess. We've got hibiscus. We've got pretty flowers all over it. So I'm guessing she probably designed this as well. And then let's go ahead and take a look. Zipper top. You guys know I like a closure on my beach totes because I don't like things to fall out accidentally. Just a nice big open space. So you probably want to use a couple of like smaller bags to sort of organize or have a clutch in there if you're going to go uh, pop into a little beach bar afterwards. But I thought this was a really cool, high quality gift that I think she did a really nice job with it. But because of the script, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is Katie's creation. So Sunshine and Books, I love that. So Sunshine and Books, you could use it as a really hefty uh, tote bag for your library adventures or for your beach adventures, or maybe a little bit of both because it is really, really big. You guys can see on the interior, let me see if you can show, show you the bottom. It's really big and it is a really nice thick canvas. So I feel like you're going to be able to carry a lot. And what's really nice too, is you can see these straps go all the way underneath and all the way up the front. So you don't have to worry about some little attachment.
attachment, those stitches. Uh, if you have, or if you're testing it, you don't have to worry about those little uh, stitches ripping away because you're going to have all of that support going underneath the weight of the bag. So this would make a great grocery bag too for some of those heavier items. So that's a really fantastic gift. I thought this was a great book. I loved it from start to finish. I loved all of the decorations, all of the packaging, all of the bright, vivid, tropical colors, the vibe of it. And I just really, really, really enjoyed this book. I thought it was so much fun. When young Jim Hawkins finds a pirate's map, the race is on to be the first to reach Treasure Island to discover the buried gold. With a motley crew, including a one-legged sea cook, Long John Silver, Jim sets off aboard the Hispaniola to find the place where X marks the spot. But danger and double dealing lurk at every turn in Robert Louis Stevenson's swashbuckling adventure story. So um, it sounds kind of almost like similar, right, to this one, but it was great, you guys. If you haven't read it, absolutely read it or listen to it. And if you haven't already signed up for Literary Book Club, please do. You will actually love it. I promise. I promise. I'll see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.